हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पीली देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वाच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी सो मैच स्टार्ट टू द इन्फॉर्मेशन दिज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन दिन आर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग गो टू गूगल डॉट कॉम and search to naropinions.com and open this site here you can see the latest news dinar opinions and dinar guru updates on a single page so visit this site for more information if you're planning on retiring sometime this year because of the iraqi dinar exchange rate we'll put a hold on your plans for just a little bit until we get past this next year emo With the election season coming up and we have no idea who's going to be in charge of the country, we have no idea what kind of actions are going to be taken against Iraq. The fact that the United States Treasury has now taken up an entire floor in the Central Bank of Iraq is not a good thing at all. Article quote, Alak confirmed. There will be meetings held with the Federal Bank and US Treasury at the end of this August. What's the date today? It's not far off. The last meeting he had was unannounced. I think him coming back to the untied states, he's probably going to bring something he should have had done a long time ago. As far as RV related news, there is a lot of expectations in Iraq for this weekend. But no huge movement yet. We are waiting to get some news. Iraqi contacts are pretty hopeful they can force a dinar value change to reduce the use of US dollars. A lot of hopeful talk and most are looking for a change on Sunday. That's only a day away so guess we will soon find out. Have you ever wondered what goes into a country decision to print new money? Imagine waking up one day to find out your country is changing its paper currency. What does that mean for the economy and your wallet? Today, we are diving into a hot in Iraq, the question of whether the country might start printing new currency. This isn't just about money, it's about trust stability and the economic future of millions. So, stick around as we unpack this unfolding story. First, let's set the stage. Recently, the parliamentary finance committee in iraq made an important statement they confirmed that there is currently no intention to print new paper currency but why is this new significant to understand that let's first look at the current state of iraq's economy iraq has faced numerous challenges over the years from war and conflict to economic instability the country has been on a roller coaster ride In the past, countries have often resorted to printing new money in times of crisis to handle debts or a declining economy. But this can lead to inflation and devalue existing currency. For example, let's consider Zimbabwe. In the late 2000s, the country printed so much money that it faced hyperinflation. One day, a loaf of bread could cost millions of Zimbabwean dollars. So, What would happen if Iraq decided to print new currency? The decision to print money is never taken lightly. It needs to be backed by solid economic indicators. We need to ask, is Iraq in a position to even consider this? Let's explore some important aspects of Iraq's economy today. As of now, Iraq's economy is heavily dependent on oil exports. When oil prices are high, the economy fares better. But when prices drop, it affects everyone. People lose jobs, businesses struggle, and the government's income decreases. This is a sensitive balance. Now let's talk about inflation. If the government printed new paper currency now, it might add more fuel to the fire of inflation. The parliamentary finance committee is likely aware of this. They would want to avoid history repeating itself. This leads us to public trust. Trust in the currency is vital for economic stability. 
If people believe their money could lose value, they might rush to exchange their currency for something more stable. This can create a snowball effect that harms the economy. But if the government is careful and communicates effectively, it can maintain this trust. So, what other options does Iraq have instead of printing new money? One alternative is strengthening the current currency. By boosting the economy through investments, Iraq could create a healthier financial environment. This includes investing in infrastructure, education, and other key sectors. These investments could lead to job creation and economic growth. Let's also highlight an interesting point. Other countries have faced similar dilemmas but chosen different paths. For instance, in the early 2000s, Brazil battled hyperinflation. Instead of simply printing more money, they implemented strict economic policies to stabilize their currency. This approach turned out to be effective. Now, let's circle back to Iraq. While the Parliamentary Finance Committee has confirmed no plans to print new currency, public discussions are crucial. Engaging the community in economic discussions can help everyone feel involved and informed. People can then voice their opinions and concerns, which might lead to better decision-making. What do you think will happen next regarding Iraq's currency? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. What's your perspective on the money situation in Iraq? Should they consider printing new currency, or do you think they should explore other options? It highlights larger themes of trust, economic stability, and public engagement. Before we wrap up, don't forget to hit that like button if you found this topic interesting. And please share this video with anyone who might want to learn more about Iraq's economic situation. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on current events around the world. Remember, your voice matters, so drop your comments down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.